Hey, it's me, Jimmy D. Welcome to our Swamp Thing Episode 8 review. I'm here with Joe. Hey, guys. And we got some stuff to say because this episode, it was kind of ruined because DC Universe, for the next episode, put a picture of Swamp Thing on a table with the Doctor above him. And so the whole, like, the whole, like, climax of this episode where Swamp Thing is fighting the Doctor and, um... All these other uh, guys with guns that they brought with them, we knew he was going to get captured. So like the whole scene just was ruined. How, how do you spoil your own show? Yeah. <laughs> how do you spoil your own show? You, you legit spoiled your own show. Um, but putting that aside, um, the Abby stuff again, really interesting. Uh, her being in Atlanta, it gave a, a refreshing kind of revamp to her storyline. Uh, her boss being working for the doctor that uh, Marie Sutherland hired. That was a nice twist. Um, her friend being kidnapped. Overall, um, it, it, it was a oak. Okay, that part was good. Um, the swamp thing part with Sutherland. Um, that was sort of interesting, but at the same time, it was like, okay, well. We know Swamp Thing is going to get captured somehow, so this is kind of mute. Um, yeah, it kind of took away, like, a lot of the, like, tension. Yeah, the show. it did. Um, what did you think overall, Joe, about the Abby stuff and all that? I thought it was okay. I don't, I don't think it was, like... It wasn't amazing. Uh, I don't think it added to her story, to her character, though. No, I, I I don't think it added to her character, but it was it was a nice pace to get her out of the swamp of doing the same stuff over and over. It was like a reality check. It's like, hey, you didn't follow your reports. Yeah, where the fuck you been? And you didn't even think about that as the episode like, went it's, on. It's like you'd think that stuff like automatically done off camera, but I guess it wasn't. No, the Sutherland character. He, he's hallucinating through the swamp. He he sees the sheriff and vines come out of her and horrifying. I would have shit myself. Um, but then Swamp Thing gets... Well, before Swamp Thing gets him, uh, he sees his dad uh, try to chop down a tree in the swamp. The swamp doesn't like it. And... Fucking drags his ass into the fire. It drags him into a fire and burns him to death. Um, See, I... Well, I think that is, like, a good backstory. I don't think it's a good enough backstory to explain, like, why he's done everything he's done. Yeah, like, he, he's been saying all season that the swamp owes him a lot, and it still owes him. But, like, I don't see how it own, own it owes him anything. Because... It's, Dad seems like a dick to begin with. Yeah, and like so, Avery literally warned his dad, "Don't chop down this tree." People talk about this tree having powers, and the dad like fuck it, and starts chopping. Like I don't see how the swamp owes him anything. It this it wasn't by accident. Like it was fully on purpose. Um, this doesn't like explain his character, like why his character is like that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Um, then you have. Swamp Thing with him talking and explaining the whole ordeal and um, Avery kind of understanding, uh, making connections and all that. And, like, it seems like they are they were going to redeem him a bit, but then they didn't. And it's... If, if Avery, at the end of the day, does not save him somehow, I think Avery's character would be a huge letdown, yeah. like, overall. Because that's sort of the way it's been building is... Because they, this episode, they've hinted, like, they're trying to hint that, like, oh, like, he saved my life. Yeah. Like, I'm a man of my word, I will save you, this type of thing. Like, yeah. if I'm anything, I'm a man of my word, type of thing. Yeah. Like, and, you know those characters, they're, like, evil, but once they make a promise, they keep their promises. Yeah, he may still be evil, but if, because Swamp Thing saved his life, he would save Swamp Thing's life. Um, and you would, I, I thought that's sort of what they were going to get at with the end climax, but no, he just picked up the shotgun, and just, just blew holes in the swamp thing. And then they, they, uh, uh, froze him, which 
it's just weird. Um, I mean, maybe they'll save him in the end. Hopefully, hopefully, with two episodes left, it's it's gonna be nail biter. It's gonna be a nail biter. Um, but yeah, and then the CDC part ultimately was kind of disappointing. I feel like they could have done more with it. Um, um, my prediction is they're gonna have so. I think Abby's going to get back, mm-hmm. and I think it was just going to be fun. Well, she kind of knows, like, that he's been taken, right? Yeah. I think it's going to be finding, like, it's going to end next episode either with them reuniting or something. Yeah, or she going, they, going they still to stop. They still got to stop the darkness in the swamp in general. Yeah, it's weird. It, they, it seems like everything's going to be rushed this last two episodes, and I really hope they're not. Um. All right, Joe, uh, how would you rate it? Honestly, this episode was eh for me. Mm-hmm. I'd give it my, like, six and a half. Honestly. Yeah, I'm going to go six. Like, I think it was just above average. Compared uh, to last episode and, like, past episodes. Yeah. Like, it was, it's almost like we're on a roller coaster ride now because um, we had that deep uh dip for a couple episodes and then last week brought us back up and then this week's kind of brought us down a little bit too we only have two episodes left so um we would love to know your comment thoughts below on what you thought of the episode um did you get spoiled by the picture the thumbnail of the next episode when you open up dc uh universe and like always i will see you in the next one later how shall we